What is up guys, no one Wilson here and today we're going to be doing a story time. Before we get into the story, you guys keep leaving comments like where's Shane, how come Shane isn't here, blah blah blah, all this other stuff. Well, the reason why he's not here, and this will lead into another story mode, or er, story time, I don't know why it's a story mode, I'm not thinking, anyway, story time, anyway, it's going to be another story time. Where I kind of explain that, but right now I'm gonna explain a little bit of it towards you for you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot think or speak. Anyway, so the reason why he's not in some of my videos is because right now he's at home. He doesn't live with me. I recently just turned 18, so you know I'm just getting on my feet and stuff. Which I'll actually do another video about why I'm not on my feet yet and stuff. But. He's also trying to get his stuff together, which I'll also do that in the other video too. I'll explain what's going on between us and stuff and all that. But you guys also want us to do more videos, and I've been talking to him about that, and we're trying to find out how to get him here and stuff, and it's just a lot of craziness. But anyway, he we're going to do more videos soon. But for right now, it's just going to be me. Sorry guys, I know I'm, I'm terrible, but got to kind of deal with me. But anyway, so this story is about a once not so famous YouTuber wanting to date me. I know it's crazy. He didn't want to date me. No, I'm joking. Anyway, he wasn't out of the closet and still isn't, but back then he was talking like my managers can't know, blah blah blah, all this other stuff. At first, guys, I really thought it was fake. I was like, okay, this is fake, blah, blah, blah. And I kept telling him that. He's like, no, 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 it's not fake, it's not fake. Look it up, look it up, look it up. Look me up, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh. Then I'll make, like, I know that you're an actual person, but I don't know if this is a fake account. Well, then, since he was getting famous on those social media apps like Instagram, uh, Musical.ly, Snapchat, all that, he added me on everything. On Instagram, if you in Twitter, if you're and musically even, if you're that famous enough, even on Facebook, if you're that famous enough, you get the blue check mark thing at the side of your name, which means it's actually them, like it's their actual page and shit. So when that was happening, sorry, I had a text message. It's Shane. But anyway. Um. What Anyway. I don't even know where my train of thought was going. But. He decided to. Text me on every app. To make sure he wasn't fake. Or make, like make me believe that he was real. Which after he texted me. And showed me pictures of himself. And blah 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 all that. And no not those types of pictures but no anyway he showed pictures of himself and what he was doing he even like video chatted me and I was like whoa like it's actually him but anyway we're gonna call him Timmy cuz I'm not gonna put his name out there cuz I don't want to expose him or anything cuz he's not out of the closet and I don't want YouTube drama but anyway he was telling me about how his managers can't know, his friends can't know anything, but he wanted to date me, and that he was coming to my state next for his tour thing. And I was like, I don't know. I was like, no, I don't, I don't think, no. Because he travels, one, two. At the time, this kid was like 13, 14. Mind you, I was like 16, 17. So, no, I don't date younger people. Um, anyway, he was, like, telling me, like, he want to date me and all this other stuff, sending pictures, all that. Finally, I was like, okay, dude, you're young. I'm older than you. I'm actually in a relationship right now. And I don't want to date. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. No. But the reason why is because... He, well, I was in a relationship. He was younger. 
he was not out of the closet, and I'm not the type of person who dates somebody who isn't out of the closet and is okay with themselves being who they are. It's not that I'm against people with being, like, scared to come out of the closet or anything, which I, I'm, like, I understand. I was at that point, which I'll end up having a coming out story to you guys coming up sometime, maybe. Anyway, but I felt bad because he was in the closet. He didn't want to come out because he felt like if he did, he'd lose his career and everything. It would go crashing down, which when he told me that, I was like, dude, it's, you know, it's 2016... 2015, sometime, sometime around that, you know, it's the 20th century, like, what's new, to be honest, but, he just was like, I don't want to, I don't want anybody knowing, whatever, so I was like, okay, whatever, I won't, I won't let anybody know, I don't, I'm not going to tell anybody just because I told you no, I'm not going to be like, guess you just asked me out, blah, 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 and so I texted some people, but, yeah, and by the way, I, I seen that, I probably put this in the, camera site. This isn't my actual phone. It's just a, a phone I use for texting and calling. I have four phones, by the way. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, yeah, he, he... I don't know. I kind of felt bad because he wasn't out of the closet and I knew he wasn't comfortable with himself. And I would, like, talk to him here and there, but but obviously I wouldn't tell I wouldn't tell my boyfriend and it was because I'll probably get into another story about that. But let's just say he wasn't the type of person who would be okay with me talking to other people. So pretty much controlling. The house phone is ringing. It always goes off and I don't it's always telemarketers. Anyway. Um so he was like um, please don't tell nobody, blah, 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 and I was like, I won't tell nobody, I just, I'm not interested in dating you, sorry. I'm already in a relationship, and you're not out in the open with your sexuality, and, you know, I hope the best, I, like, yeah, what did I say? I think I said something along the lines with, I hope you're okay with yourself being who you are and that eventually you'll accept yourself and you'll come out and let everybody know who what how like what you are and how you're what's it called how your acceptance of I can't speak how you're how you can accept yourself pretty much and he was like thanks blah blah, blah. and then I lost contact with him obviously but yeah um that was pretty much the story. Like, he messaged me out of nowhere. I think he found me on YouTube. I don't know how. I wasn't a big YouTuber back then. I only had like 40 subscribers back then. And he was just like, you know, hi and stuff like that. It was just weird. And I was just like, I didn't think it was real. And it might be because of Instagram too. I don't know. I had all those apps. The ones I, the one I did not use at all was Twitter. I barely use that. And it's and I still don't even use it. I don't even have the app or anything no more. With my new accounts. Because I had to get new ones. But anyway. Yeah. He. that It happened like that pretty much. That's pretty much what happened. And. That's pretty much all for this video. I think I'm going to upload another video too. Another story time. Oh you know what. There's actually two people. One wasn't even a YouTuber. He was just famous on Musical.ly who wanted to date me. I just now remembered this. He... I'm trying to think. His name was like... Rodriguez something. I'm trying to think. I don't remember his name, but he was like... He's on my old Facebook right now, actually. And he messaged me and he was like, I'm big on Musical.ly. Do you want to date me? And I was like... No. Like, what? Like, he messages somebody and says that. Like, I was like, what? Like, no, I don't, I don't know you. Weirdo. Anyway. Yeah, his name was something along the lines of that. It wasn't that, so I didn't expose him. It was something along the lines of Rodriguez or something like that. Something with the R. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Give a thumbs up. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe do all those things, um, 
leave comments. I like to reply to you guys because a lot of you guys have been like making comments and stuff and I like replying to you guys. It's for real. It gives me something to do. But anyway, thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.